Hi guys, it's Game Dan Twenty Five. Um, I am recording my first video of the Boa Web um, Get Six um, cable, so that will be the new cable that I'm using. Um, and yeah, I haven't seen any like um, reviews or people talking about the cable because basically a cable is a cable. Um, but if you do get like good quality cable, then it's much better than having one with like two, um, 100 rand or 200 rand or something like that. Um, but this one I got on special. It's a 10 meter bow web um, Cat 6 cable. Um, it's nothing fancy or so because there is going to be like Cat 9 or Cat 8 or something like that, um, uh, which will transform more better data. So basically, if you do play games or if you download a lot, um, using a cable will be better than using Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, some places you have to use Wi-Fi because maybe um, you don't have a, uh, the length of the cable. And also, um, the longer the cable, um, the more worse it might get. Um, but I just got a 10 meter cable of the Bow Web um, cable. And yeah, let me show you guys what it looks like. and how it actually came. I got two of those cables. So the one I'm I plugged into the PC and it's kind of okay. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys. So the one cable what um, what I actually got um, well the two cables. Um, the one cable, as you can see, here's a blue cable. Yeah, um, that one's plugged into the computer. Unfortunately, I can't actually show you guys um, that cable. But um, it's plugged into the PC, so you guys actually will get a better signal when I'm actually showing the cable. And basically, um, that's the cable. It's a network cable, um, Cat6, as you can see, and it's from PowerWeb. They give it in, uh, in this kind of um, material plastic um, bag. And this one is like this. Um, what I do notice from this cable is that um, I got two different colors. So I can show you guys um, this color. It's like a blue, a light blue, compared to this one, which is like a dark blue. I'm gonna uh, let me see if I can. It's like a dark blue color. Oh, oh, this one's a light blue color. Light blue and a dark blue. So, um, but it's both, um, it works uh, kind of, uh, it works good. I transfer um, uh, data quite fast. And as you can see, it has that, um, that tie thing. Let's see if I can do it on a better angle. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not feel like being special. So it has a a a a thing for you to press the clear plastic. So like that. It's a bit weird. Um. But yeah, this is the cable, and there's not much what you can say about this cable. Um, uh, it's a 10 meter cable. Depending on how long you want your cable, um, the cable should be working for you. Um, and it's cable's always better than Wi-Fi, uh, in my experience, because I'm always having problems where something is interfering with the cable also and as you can see on this side um, they should be printing on the it says cat six yeah, okay. cat 
six blind folder. And there's some numbers, uh, letters, A, M, G, two, three. Um, I've ordered this on Takealot. Um, so basically I'll share a link at the bottom of the video of um, where I got the cable and also other places where you can get cable of this um, sort. So um, yeah, um, I'm not much of a cable person, like know every detail of the cable, but it does feel thicker than the normal one. The normal one is like this. Um, this is the normal Cat5 cable and there's the printer of it. Yeah, this is the normal Cat5. This is the ones that they always give with the, the routers and so on. Um, and this is the Cat6 cable. So um, also check when you buy a cable, um, always check if it is thicker than the other one, if you buy it in the shop or if it's just um, wording what they just saying that it's this and that. Um, it's always good to check for that uh, information um, instead of just buying the cable and you're not sure what you're buying and especially if you're not like a tech person or if you just like uh, someone wants extra time to look for like good quality in the, the cabling um, then look for the thickness is there any joints what's been too much like even this I got this out of the packet like this for me, the cable shouldn't be rolled up like this. So this is like on a whole new level of where your cable might break or so. Um, I prefer to be a little bit wider. Like maybe if this is the dome, then maybe that length. Uh, yeah, from that length. So from where my thumb is until there, that's the loop that it must be. Um, yeah, so basically, um, this where they tangled the cable like this is just to get it into this packaging, which is this packaging, um, so it can be shipped out and it's more easier uh, to ship out. But they weren't thinking of, um, what if the cable doesn't work properly and so on. And maybe if you guys want to actually see what's it more like how it looks more in detail. Um, camera please focus. Uh, oh. yeah. So it looked like a normal Cat6 cable. Um, let's see, let me just play it. Yeah, it looked like a normal Cat6 cable. There's nothing like, I don't see anything fancy about this cable, but this is the bubble web um, cable. So, bubble web or something, I don't know. I forgot I just said the word um, of the company who makes this. I can't speak. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is the cable. I know it's not much information about it, um, but this is 10 meter um, long cable and so far people say for cat 6 um, 10 meters is kind of safe if you're on the safe side of like with the cable not giving you extra problems or and maybe lose um, like speed or so um, when you go over to 15 and 10 meters and so on then you might stand a chance of um, where the cable doesn't work properly or so. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. Um, so maybe I'll just and like I said, always keep this cable ties what comes with your devices or your wires or so because you never know when you will actually need this stuff. So keep it always on a safe spot. I used mine in my um on my mic what I use. So basically we're on the boom arm. So if I bring the cable a little bit closer, you guys can actually see. Um, now 
of the cameras not focusing. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, so basically, this is how the cable looks. Um, it's very thick and it's not easy just to like twist and turn. Um, so, um, not all CAT6 cables will be looking like this. Some of it won't look like this. So just also don't like say that you saw this video or you saw in this photos or so that the cable look like this. Always read the, the printing what it says on the cable. Um, I'm actually trying to find. Yeah, read the printing what's on the cable. There's always some printing what's on the cable. So make sure that you do read that. Um, uh, in order to know like if it is really a cat5 cable or cat6 cable because some of the companies they get away of where they say it's this cable but then on the cable it doesn't say anything so and also sometimes they don't specify exactly um, on the cable um, but this cable should work also if if you're using a old computer or your computer has like cat5 connection this can work in your computer because it's backwards compatibility so you can put it in your cat5 connector and you can use it for future reference if you get maybe something that works with cat6 which works better then at least you will have the cable um, that's the nice part of having like the cable for maybe future reference if you're gonna maybe upgrade or something you have the thing and you don't have to go to the shops for especially now you need to get the cat 6 cable um, but also if you don't want to spend uh, that much money then the cat 5 cable will be also good um, there is different cat 5 cables what you get um, when you're actually ordering uh, the different cables um, but it should be fine so um, this is basically just the unboxing or unpackaging of the CAT6 cables and I hope you guys actually like this video um, let me know if you are actually using CAT6 cable in a port where there is a CAT5 or maybe if you're just using CAT6 cable and you notice the difference of when you're using this cable or any CAT6 cable compared to a cat5 cable in your internet usage or when you're playing games or so um i thought yeah there was like a bit of crash but it's not actually yeah it's just the molding but yeah um let me know what you guys think about the video um let me know also if you're using this kind of cable and what was the issues did you come across was it melted was it not melted um, so so um, yeah let me know and uh, comment in the comment box if you're using the same cables did you maybe come across something where it was actually getting bubbly around the cable or maybe it just stopped working um, because this will be the first time that I'm actually using this people's brand of cable. I just thought that it would be like a good idea to use the cable now that I'm upgrading um, because I got a different router. So um, let me know in the comment and um, I will see you in the next video. Um, yeah, cheers guys.